All right there, folks, and welcome back to Chelsea, the second leg of our semi-final against Inter Milan. Fortunate, plucky amount of Inter Milan, lucky. Yeah. Um, one game to catch up on, we'll roll the, uh, the VT of the goals that we managed to put away past Villa, 4-0, so sets us up nicely. I'll take that again, that'll, that'll see us through to the final, no problem. One final Premier League game to go. We so far clear, you know, 15 points over Man City. Uh, Stoke and Sheffield United already relegated. It looks as though Aston Villa will probably join them unless there's a last day miracle. Wolves actually were bedded deep in the relegation mire, but they've just managed to claw their way out. Uh, Wolves, though, are actually in the Europa League semi finals. So, a bit of a, you know, an up and down season for them. Uh, right, so the teams are in the tunnel. Let's go through the teams in just a second. I'll see you pitch side. So there we have it then. It's full strength team. It's a full strength side. It's the side that we named in the first leg. Except, well, I say full strength. Christensen comes in for Zuma, who is unfortunately banned due to. I'm not going to keep. I'm not going to keep on about it. You know my feelings about the dismissal of Zuma but there you go um just incompetence but the, the, that's the last word on it unless it happens again in which case then you know we'll we'll talk about it a bit more anyway Hikardi gets us underway Inter Milan in their changed kits all white with, well all white white with blue socks right I throw in there Marcus Alonso inside four minutes Sergey brings it in field and tries one just wide of the far post Last for creativity, David Luiz, former Chelsea man, of course, taking the throw and playing it back to Asamoah. Nine goal and lots of space and time. Goes to the left to Luiz. Kingsley Coman, though, reminds him who's boss. Sergei comes through the middle, finds Maratta now. Surely, no, Maratta just won't score against Inter Milan. Just can't get the goal. We've asked for creativity. Alonso drifts the corner in, but it's won at the near post and cleared. Vashalko. No problem for him, but Marcus Alonso keeps it alive. And another corner. Wouldn't expect anything to come. But you never know. You never know. No, no not even worth seeing it, that one. FM's learned. This corner might be worth it, though. Alonso. And it's it's found its way in. Sergei with the goal. You can stick your two own goals. The, uh, you can put your hands down and all into fans. As uh, I put a handball in there. I'd send him off and give the goal, to be honest, ref. Another corner, it's all about the corners in this game. Um, headed away by Psycho, Bellotti collects, works its way into the area, gives it to Alonso. Bellotti again, Kante, Alonso. Looking for the opening, Kante, Eden Hazard, works the angle for the strike and curls it just over the crossbar. Well, as for creativity as we take another throw in, this one doesn't work out, but Regani collects and so it's all Chelsea. As Sergei just wide of the post as he drills it into an Inter Milan fan's face. Presumably. Uh, an Inter Milan corner now. Pavon, Nangolan and headed in. That's the away goal that we got that's cancelled out. Out of nowhere, Inter Milan score a goal. I don't know what kind of marking that is. That was a free header from about four yards. Uh, what is what is going on there? What is That is so uncharacteristic. Half time then. And we're getting absolutely mugged off here. One shot on target from Inter Milan. Obviously goes in. Uh, we've had all the play, all the chances, but 1-1 it is on the night, and we're we're some way off. Again, again, really, we 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 were down to ten men, and we were still the better team in Milan. I just don't understand why we're not capable of putting into Milan away. I mean, that's a foul. That is a foul. He's gone straight through Hazard to win that. Christensen over this one, then gives it to Hazard. Sergey Alonso on this left side. Can he get a good ball across? He can. Coman off the bar. Of course, it's off the bar. Nothing is going for us today. Uh, it's the first time we've hit the woodwork. The only clear-cut chance of the game we've had. That's probably where we've let ourselves down. Is we've not really worked clear-cut opportunities. But we've oh, we've seen strikes that have gone close. And uh, we hit the post and woodwork a couple of times in Milan, I think, as well. So it's, it's frustrating. We're going to demand more from the boys. 
as uh, Alonso's over another corner. Maybe this is the best opportunity for us to get back into the game. And Sergei scores again. 15th of the season, second of the night. We need another one, and that will only tie it up. So really, we need to win. Uh, win. We need to score another couple of goals. Handanovic, I'm surprised he didn't keep that one out. But the man more is Alonso over another corner, headed away by Skriniar this time. Balotti should collect. Works his way to, well, brings it to uh, Christensen, who plays on the angle for Hazard. Great ball. Eden Hazard cuts it back, and Andrea Balotti, and suddenly it's 3-1 on the nice, 4-4. We scored a couple there in quick succession. Hopefully we've broken into Milan's resistance. This ball out from Christensen is nothing short of sublime. The presence of mind of Hazard there as well, not to, uh, to strike at goal. And uh, well, Handanovic doesn't even bother. I think he was expecting the tackle to win the ball properly. Um, we're so much the better team. It's frustrating that we're we're not just absolutely clear ahead. But Marcos Alonso does put us ahead with another free kick. He scored a few of these. That's a lovely effort, and it's gone in at the near post. And we have a, an actual lead against Inter Milan in this tie. It's just crept in at the near post. Sandanovic probably will look back at that and think he could have done better. Well, demand more from the boys as Vashaiko takes this this free kick to Gagliardini. Inter Milan have got to come forward now. It's all or nothing for them. And uh, you wouldn't put it past them to, to go and snatch another one. As Kante surely fouled there. Referee gives nothing and the goal goes in from Keita Balde. I don't understand. I don't quite understand this game, to be quite honest. That is a foul on Kante in my book. Let's have a look at this then in the replay. Kante is definitely fouled there. No doubt about it. It's just He's just muscled off the ball. And uh, Balde is, is clearly a very good player. And Inter Milan back in front on away goals despite playing absolutely appallingly. We're going to make a change. We're just going to bring. We're going to take off the goal scorer Alonso. He's been excellent, but he's tiring. And we'll bring on Emerson. I don't understand. I really don't get it. We've absolutely dominated over two legs, especially this one. We're waiting to ask the boys to get creative. Nine goal and Gagliardini chases on. Balotti's got the angle on. It's Kenny Cross. Morata's waiting. No, he won't reach him. Kilman this time. Nine goal and Morata, surely. He puts it in the back of the net and we're back in front with five minutes to play. It's nonsense, to be quite honest, though. The fact that we've they've scored twice is appalling. I don't understand. They're just so fortunate with, with, the, with everything. Nine goal. And, I mean, look at the number of bodies that we're trying to get forward. Morata wrong foot Sandanovic, and we have a lead. Although, again, you, you can't trust it. Still time to play, then. Five minutes of added on time. Surely a foul on Bellotti. This referee gives nothing. Screen your heads it away. Sergei down. Komen. Great save, Handanovic. Bellotti. Emerson now. Kenny Cross. Checks and, uh, well, well tackled on this occasion. Who is this referee? I want to know. If it's the same one, I'm having, I'm having, I'm going to, I want, I want his name. Uh, Hazard, wide of the post. No, it's Felix Burish. So two referees uh, seem to favour into Milan. 20 seconds to go. We're on the verge of the final. And there can be no doubt here. We deserve the final. It's just absurd that we've had to really go through the, the, the mill to get there. As for Psycho, plays it down the left. And Caramo, Rigani has to step in. A dangerous ball clearance. But we work it away and Marat on this right side. I mean, time is up. And the ball goes out for a Chelsea throw. And that should be the final whistle. It is indeed. And we actually do go through to the final. It looked doubtful for a few moments. Despite the fact that Inter Milan only scored twice out of three shots. Come on, FM. Come on. Uh, yeah, so Champions League final. Uh, that's, that's, you know, you've got to be pleased with that. You know, it, I just can't believe how close that ended up being. See, I can't believe they scored five goals past us, to be quite honest. But there you go. It is what it is. We win 6-5 on aggregate. 5-2 on the night. The Champions League final will be against Manchester United. Liverpool, most likely Manchester United. That'll be a cracking affair, I'm sure. Jose Mourinho will be up for that one. Indeed he will. Uh, do pop a like on there for me and subscribe if you haven't already for more Football Manager 2019 content coming your way very soon. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. It will be the Champions League final. What a way to go. I'll see you on the next video. Take care and goodbye.